Welcome back to Kumas Automotive. Uh, we're here at a Philadelphia soccer club in Philly, and they've asked me to take a look at their golf cart. They have a couple, but this is one of them. And uh, just to do maintenance, get it up and running. Uh, I'm going to point out a few things that I saw uh, when I came here the first time. Just I, I wanted to come back a little more uh, well equipped. Uh, I want to fix wiring issues and uh, I want to have schematics printed out so I did that. Um, like parts info and stuff like that. So okay first off this is like a n late 90s early 2000s vintage. Now if I come here there's supposed to be a serial number right here and you can see that that's missing. So on my part I'm doing a lot of guesswork uh, on the particulars of this vehicle. All I know that it's half gasoline, half electric. It's like a hybrid, I guess. Uh, one of the early hybrids of in, in the vehicle industry, right? Uh, so this motor, I believe, is a Robbins motor. It's a four-stroke motor. Uh, two cylinders. And then you have the generator down here. This guy right here down below. And how this works is you have ignition key, which we have a bypass switch, don't worry about that. You press the pedal and go, it just moves, okay? So that's how these guys work. Uh, they won't activate, they won't go anywhere unless, you know, the pedal or the switch is on, I'm sorry. Like the key switch or in this case, a toggle switch. So that's that. So I just wanted to show you some of the wiring that we are encountering here. The battery was sitting here. Ground cable, which is uh, great. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the positive cable, which is even better. Okay. And you can see some of the wiring going on here. It's uh, it's great. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go ahead and you know clean this up. I'm gonna I have ter terminals. I'm gonna do uh, just verify the wiring before I just go ahead and, and connect things together and see sparks. You know. So then I have the air filter, uh, a couple like this breather line, which is pretty nasty corroded. As you can see, it's like falling apart. We want to keep this thing in good condition. Uh, this is also pretty dirty, mucky, overfilled. Okay. So we want to change to oil. There is a filter on the side of the block um, from what I've seen. This acts like a, like a regular car. This has a timing belt inside of here. You have a cam and crank and I think a tensioner inside. So it's pretty cool to see a setup like this. So I've never actually seen one like this. And then you have the drive belt to the rear axle. So plugs, that's what it was. Uh, air filter, hose. We have the fuel pump that's here. Fuel, fuel filter, lines. Uh, actually, this is not too, too bad. I got extra line just in case. The, the fuel lines aren't too bad as far as being dry rotted and stuff so that's good but definitely we're going to address the fuel I mean I don't know if you can see that but there's stuff or stuff in there crickets grass and stuff fuel pump uh, I know I mentioned that but uh yeah and just go over the wiring because I don't want to have uh something come apart while they're in the middle of the field or the soccer field and stuff so that's that. I was able to go online and print out a couple things that I thought were pretty close. And I put them in a the sleeve so I can handle it with grease and stuff and it'll help uh, work on this a little, little easier, a little better. I think I have the appropriate wiring schematics as well, which I'm hoping because it wasn't much, but we'll see. So stay tuned. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do my Spanish bit and uh, yeah, touch base. Uh, so we're back. Um, I just want to give a progress report. Um, first thing I did again was trying to fix a lot of the wiring here. I put on new uh, terminals. Okay, I'm not tight yet on this because I was testing a couple things, light switch, and making sure that what I saw was correct. And I added some wire. All I had was some yellow from an existing jumper wire that I had. <laughs> just all I had on me. And I feel like making a trip. So it was, what we call that? Sacrificial wire. <laughs> so yeah, I, I added this in. Uh, I know it's going to work okay. It's going to be good. This is already tight. We're good. Uh, this is the lead for the headlight switch or the lights, basically headlight and tail light. There's no other like turn signal or anything else on here, so I'm not worried about anything else. It's just a uh, headlight switch on and off. It pulls out just like you would like a, an old Ford. Um, so I think we're good on the wiring aspect minus the this one power wire to the switch, to the light switch. I want to put an inline fuse and then I can go ahead and just, you know, zip tie it to the side and not worry about it. Uh, one of the other things I've done <laughs> so far <laughs> was remove the plugs. And you can see right here the condition of the plugs. Now one was wet and one was dry. Not exactly fouled with fuel. Uh, I suspect it's just oil and I will include a picture that I took when I immediately took them out. So I, I went back with the OE, their NGK um, plugs, okay? And uh, I still have to change the oil, change the filter. I just wanted to get things started um, and, and doing a look over and stuff. The other thing we were having issues with was this <laughs> door. <laughs> <laughs> you see this? <sighs> yeah, the guys that, that run the soccer club here, they were trying to do it. We had, like, my, my daughter and I, and plus one of the maintenance guys that, that works here, I guess for the terrain, not for, for the equipment, obviously, because that's, that's me. Um, <laughs> that's me. That's it's me. It's a girl right here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that, that's my job. So hopefully they're going to take care of that tomorrow. Um, yeah, uh, they'll hopefully take care of the door tomorrow. Get that done. Um, and then hopefully we'll take care of the rest of the maintenance, like oil change, the filter. I'm not going to change the pump and mess with the carburetor yet because, you know, it could work. It could be fine. Why touch it? You know, why put money into it if you don't need it? You know, I, I'm trying to be fair with these people and, and uh, be as economical as possible, but do a good job. You know, I don't like a cheap job. So that's where we're at right now. So pick up a fuse and I can add that. And uh, I guess I'll have to be back. I'm hoping to come back tomorrow. Uh, but I have a couple things I want to do with this other YouTuber, Rob Dodderer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we have a couple of diags uh, to take care of, and I also have my niece coming from what West Virginia. Yeah, she's coming up. So I haven't seen her for like 15 years. Yeah, it's been so long, and I missed I'm the so heck excited. out of her. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I was able to verify that it actually turns the belt, spins the belt, and does want to move everything from rear to for, like reverse. Um, but I didn't want to go too far because, you know, door and then stuff forward. So, yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, so hopefully you found this, I don't know, useful. Uh, tomorrow, or the next time I come, I will be sure to include a little more of the maintenance stuff. The wiring, you know, it's, it's just wiring, fixed wiring. Uh, I don't know. I, I didn't think that was too complicated. And again, I'm not familiar with this particular unit cart, so I'm just, you know, like looking it over, 
and, and knowing how basic circuitry works anyway. I mean, my daughter was here and she's, you know, just watching me figure things out and I'm trying to explain things to her. Teaching her a couple of basics, so. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the lights work and everything, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I want to fix some other wiring that was here. Like, it's partially melted. It looks like it was uh, zip tied at one point. Okay, and then it just hit along here. So we have the ground and positive for the lights touching. So I want to cut this, just put some shrink, uh, shrink wrap right here on this section. It's only the, the ground side that's exposed as, that has the copper showing, which you can see barely, let me see, right here. You can barely see that, that copper showing. Yeah. And a little bit here, but yeah, the, the positive side is okay. Again, that's because of the manifold, and I guess one of the zip ties came off. Apparently, like, a lot of the stuff got melted or something. Too much equipment. Maybe too low. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll continue on tomorrow. Hopefully the soonest tomorrow, but it could be a little bit later than that as well. Uh, like I said, I gotta go out to Reading. So, yeah. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So we're back. Uh, we're in a different area of their facility. And we brought the cart in over here. Apparently it moves, it drives. Okay. I didn't know. I thought I left stuff disconnected. But who knows. So I'm back. I'm putting in the fuse. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I'm putting in this inline fuse, like I said, for the headlights. Um, just to protect that circuit in case, I don't know, something gets caught and we don't want to cook anything. So that's what I'm doing. This I'm going to do first. Uh, I have everything else that I need, I believe, except for the jack. So uh, hopefully they have one here I can use. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I just got to unbolt the terminals because I don't want it live while I'm doing it. As you can see over here, this is so. Boom. We're not to dizzy the people. So I'm just going to disconnect and I'm just going to add it to this side on the positive terminal. And it reaches just well. I mean, it'll be fine. And zip tie it up. So, and the fuse size I'm using is 7.5 amps. Because it's only light, they shouldn't draw much. And uh, that's that. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say this in Spanish and then I don't know if I'll record myself doing it. I could have used red. No, terminal. The little end. Yes. Okay. So the battery's out. You can see the terminal melting. Huh? 
Okay, I'll slide this up. The only reason why I'm putting this on is in case the wires um, or the terminals get replaced again and it's easy to say, okay, this is positive. Because of a black wire, I'm trying to help the next person. And then I did the same thing on the other cable. Can you see all that? Yeah. Just don't look at the camera, huh? Because of my light. Alright, so that's in there. I'll go ahead and close this. And I still gotta shrink this. Sorry guys, I'm like just trying to get this done without burning anything. Alright. Alright, just leave it like that. Let that cool down. Uh give us see that battery is way too big for this. I don't like the fact that it's hitting on here. I want to put a piece of wood or something to help bringing it up a little bit so it won't hit that like, I know you guys can't see but down in here you want to show the people not this but these wires right here can you see that now see the green the black and the red can you see that Okay, when the battery is in here, it's actually pinching and pushing against these and kind of like bending them over. It might be okay, it might not be okay, I don't know. Uh, but the battery should only be like maybe six inches wide. It's like this and like that. And yet they have like this full size car battery in here. Just pointing that out. Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go dig around for a piece of wood. Uh, so I'm gonna put there just to help get it up and avoid hitting those. And we'll be right back. Okay, if you look down here, <laughs> I just put these pieces of wood. And if you notice, 
that it, it helps keep the battery up here and that they shouldn't hit these wires anymore as long as these pieces stay. Worst case scenario, I could put like a bolt through all those pieces of wood just so it's keeping the battery elevated. I'm gonna put it in there and see what it looks like. See what? Okay, yeah, that actually will work pretty good. Everything's separated over here. And then there is a cover that goes here on the side, a black cover. Uh oh, I'm looking right at it. So hopefully, all of this together will help keep that from sliding back. Yeah, I think that might work. Okay. There's no screw or anything there, unfortunately. But, okay. So, that should work. You know what? I wanted to get a close-up of these terminals. I mean, when I was editing, I could see that they weren't the greatest shot. Now, this was a negative, I could tell. And that's the positive. So, I'm going to hold these still so you can see and zoom in. Can you see that? I'm going to flip it. Okay. And then the positive squished all the way down. And then you can't loosen and tighten or whatever. So, that's that. Uh, okay, positive. Still going to reach. Okay, cool. I need the 11. This... Uh, ratchet. It's silver. Yeah. You're awesome. You remember. Aw. Because you did it? You worked on it? Is that why? Maybe. Let me up this. I'm going to pull this out all the way. Bring this guy over. Uh, yeah, we can bring it like that, I guess. Okay, that's tight. Oh, that's tight. Sweet. Now you put this in. Cool. And I'll go ahead and tighten it. Let me see. Oops, ready, tidy. Upside down. I shouldn't even have to do anything. It's tight. It's fine. All right. And then the negative. Sweet. Now I can keep it on here. It'll be fine. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. You should have a way to anchor this. 
I don't have anything. I'm sure I can find something. Go ahead and zip tie. Okay. I don't see a jack anywhere. Give me some of these chintzy ones. Go ahead. I swear that should be tighter. Uh, if you want to look over here because you, you can't even see. Um, okay. How does this come off, huh? Okay. Like I said, but you know what? We have the new parts here. Okay, I should just pull out, but I'm not sure. It's a fuel pump. Breather, filter. The filter, the o ring for the oil filter. So, yeah, so that just fits on top. So, it should just pull out. Should. Keyword. Let's see. How much muscle does Gorba have? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, old one. Not too, too bad, but yeah. Oh, marker. Please. My dear. My dear. Black one. Okay, and that's in. Uh, this can go back on. Okay. That's on. Air, air, okay, cool. Um, I also noticed that on the video, it didn't. My flashlight was too bright, so I don't know if you guys can see that. How well you can see that? Does that come up? Yeah. Like how dirty it is, and that it's all the way like overfilled. Okay. All right. This guy, I just want to do a comparison. Boom. And that's the top. 
Wow. Cool. Yeah, see. It's more difficult there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vuelto. Ahora sí. Se metió. Ok. Back on. Okay, channel locks. My name showing too. Date. I don't see an hour meter on this. Otherwise, I would have put that down too. Ooh. I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay. Okay. And then filter. Okay. That's great. I definitely need to be done. I don't know the consistency of the fuel in here though, so I need a whole bunch of grass and stuff. But it doesn't smell varnish or anything, so we'll leave that alone. The only other thing is a darn freaking filter. And oil filters way down there. And I wanna see why this thing is loose. That's the generator. And I swear that should be tighter. All right, so what I'll do, uh, I think I'm gonna use a compressor. I'm gonna blow all that off, off the carburetor and stuff, cause that's got a lot of stuff on there. Uh, also I wanna clean off uh, uh, over here where the cap is, so when I fill it, uh, we don't have stuff going in there. And I'll have to try to show the people, but the like oil filter is inside of the block. Which, let me see if I can show that. Maybe using this. Oil filter, okay. It's like oil gas. Just says four cycle. I 
and that's that filter. It actually bolts like this into the side of the block. It's a very fine mesh with an O-ring here. And there's an O-ring that sits here. And that's the one that came in the uh, fuel and the little fuel baggie, I think is over there. But yeah, I gotta get underneath and do this. So, I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can call Kurt and see uh, if he's around. Okay. Okay, here we are underneath the golf cart. I have it jacked up on the hitch area. And it could be seen. And then I have a jack stand over here on the side uh, where I'm working at. But this is the oil filter. I just wanted to point that out. So I'll be replacing that. And I still don't see where the drain is at. But more than likely, if I pull out the filter, it's going to drain. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. We're going to go with that. Uh, and then what? I don't know if I'm going to try to replace the other belt here or not. Um, we'll see. So, that's that for right now. Get the bigger gun just so I can make it loose. Uh, it's a ratchet. Oh, there we go. See how grimy that is? Some pretty grimy stuff. Grab that oil o ring as well. These are no, I'm trying to find an O-ring. Oh, uh, O-ring. <laughs> I have an O-ring in my mind. Uh, it's easier than trying to find the drain plug. It's probably either in the front or the rear. Again, from the side here, it's so much easier. I can't really get underneath, really. <laughs> I didn't expect that. It was definitely over full. Look at that. I do have some sludge in there. Can you see that? Yes. And it came out with the O-ring, so I'm good there. Oh, I think it was the original, actually. I remember it being much finer. Cool. Oh, and I see the O-ring there. Cool. This is an interesting unit. Again, let's grab my little baby pry bar I just got. That thing is awesome. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's pretty flat. Alrighties. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that. That goes on there like that. I'm gonna put a light. Okay. Oil. Okay. Get the filter. Oh, oh no, 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 no. That's no. That's pretty dirty. That's so dirty. That's so dirty. Is that better now? It's not leaking on me now. Jeez. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the point's gonna go that way. Like that. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, this guy is gonna go up in the corner this time. And uh, this guy here. <laughs> oh my buddy. <sighs> and the really chintzy one. Man, almost butchered. Couldn't get on there straight. Or something. I don't know. It's not too, too bad, but still bad, I guess. Alright, so we're going to bring this down. Oh, it's so full. I can't believe how full it is. Uh, I'll go down to a... Oops. I had it on the one. Good one. Righties. Righty. Righty. So I have a very low setting as far as torque. What did I do with the right now? <laughs> that. Okay, ready? Alright, so let me make sure it's straight. Let's torque it. Not too tight, just. Just trying to keep it straight while. Well. Tightening, that's all. I'm not giving it too much oomph. Alright, now that's done. Now we go fill up the oil and get this out from underneath. Um uh, checking the wire from underneath here. Everything else here looks pretty freaking good. We just got done zipping up the oil change. Uh I just started up to see how it was doing. Uh key is on, toggle switch. And uh, what I want you to see, uh, basically, first part of the throttle pedal, accelerator pedal, is going to be the generator part, uh, the electric part of it. And if I go further down, you'll see the combustion engine start running and the fuel filter, uh, the fuel flowing through the fuel filter, which means that the pump is working and uh, wheels are spinning, brakes work. Uh, so I just wanted to show this part after we're all done, and I, I think we'll be good to go. We just want to have things running. So there's quite a few things I don't have to touch. That's fine. That's good. Uh, it sounds good. Let me see. Right now it's still up jack jacked up, but you'll see that it's fuel uh, full here. It's definitely not over full like it was before. Nice clean oil compared to what it was. But uh, I, I think this thing is good to go. Uh, we'll have to figure out also a strap for this. 
so this thing doesn't be doesn't move around and stuff. Uh, although I don't think anything here in particular is metal; it's all plastic. All right, ready to go. Uh, so first part, electric. <laughs> Second part. Brakes work pretty well. I didn't have to pull the wheels off or anything. I mean, it's around the field. Uh, and pretty much when you're using these little go-karts and stuff, um, they don't really uh, need that much braking unless you're going down a hill or something. Uh, they pretty much slow down pretty quickly. So, oh, sorry. Is that better? <laughs> so, yeah, I, I think this is uh, a win. Again, I'm just going to go ahead and, and tidy up a little bit more, pull a few more zip ties uh, just to keep the cables out of the way. And I'm going to call it good for now. And then we can go ahead and move on to the next uh, equipment, next piece of equipment. So I, I feel comfortable with this. Oh, and you know what? We never showed the lights with this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm turn the lights on. Ready? Lights are on. There's a headlight. So, that's good. Pretty cool. Now, there is some kind of choke here. I don't know why. Seems to be fine. Uh, without it. So, I don't know. Um, yeah. So, that's that. I think we're good to go. Once I lower this, I'm going to recheck the oil. Uh, so, it's level. I didn't want to add too much. But, uh, yeah. I, uh... I guess that's that. So hopefully you guys found this useful somewhat. Um, I find that the belts seem to be okay. They're not too dry rotted. Uh, they're grabbing okay. So I'm just going to leave it be. Uh, the thing is, it was cheaper to get the entire kit, the, the tune-up kit, which came with uh, the drive belt, generator belt, air filter, two spark plugs, um, fuel filter and oil filter and it was much cheaper I think I paid about eighty ninety dollars right there and instead of buying everything individually uh, and the fuel pump I, I bought individually but again uh, quite a few things use this I'm not going to charge a customer for that particular thing that, that's I'll, I'll keep it on hand um, but yeah it's that I don't know anything else uh, you think I need to cover yeah, we're going to call that good. So, uh, any questions? I would love to hear some input from anybody who knows exactly what this thing is. If you want to do like a little quick uh, like view of the entire unit here, because someone might recognize it. Oh, that's not even in its place. I mean, there's no lens on here anyway, but... I want to go ahead and put that back in its place before I let leave. I love how well you have that chalked. But yeah, does anybody recognize this? Uh, I think it's called a metalist. The model. Uh, but when I was looking on the tag itself, it says TXTG. I don't know. And, uh, to me, from the information that I had found, it seems to be uh, approximately 04 
with a Robbins 295cc engine. So if anybody else is more familiar with this, I would love to hear your input and know exactly what I'm working on uh, for future. But so far, everything that I got seems to work. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.